Hey everybody, this is Adam Fawn coming to you again from Paducah, Kentucky with another 3-Minute Book Review. And on this episode of the 3-Minute Book Review, we're looking at a book with a pretty interesting title and that may at first seem like it has a fairly narrow audience, but it's one that I hope you will consider getting a copy of and enjoying. The name of the book is The Lunch Ladies. This book was written about four years ago, the year 2015, by Philip Jenkins. The subtitle of the book is Cultivating an Axe-mosphere, A-C-T-S-mosphere. The story behind this book is that Philip Jenkins was and is a youth minister in Middle Tennessee, but realized his youth group, while big, just didn't really seem to to get along all the time, didn't really seem to, to know where all the kind of kids on the edges were. You know, the kids are talking about the ones that come sometimes and don't come sometimes. And some of his own young people said, we've got to take care of this. We've got to figure out a way to help those who are kind of on just the outskirts, who come sometimes and don't come sometimes, those who just kind of aren't really involved. And so that group of young people began meeting from time to time and discussing specifically how they could help this young person, that young person, what they could do to serve those young people. And the whole idea behind the lunch ladies is everybody gets served. Everybody gets what they need as they go through the line at a, at a cafeteria, for example, or the school lunchroom. And this group began to call themselves the lunch ladies because they just were, were serving others constantly. And Philip mentioned how this little, what seems like little practice, totally changed the, the tenor, the tone of the youth group because everyone seemed to have more and more buy-in as the young people began to reach out to other young people. Now, as I say, this may seem like a book just for youth ministers or youth deacons or something, but I've read this book a couple of times. In fact, I plan on reading it again very, very soon. That's one reason I wanted to do this book review, frankly, was to remind myself to put this on my read again list. But it's because it reminds me of the same concept, whether it's in a youth group or a congregation, of being the people who always are willing to serve and how that just draws people in. But Jenkins in this book gives a very practical way of doing this, especially with young people. So if you do work with young people, this is a great book to sort of work your way through, whether you follow every step or not. It's a great sort of template that you can tailor to your own particular situation, your own congregation, your own youth group. It is a wonderful read, even if you don't work with young people, though. This is a great book to remind us of something that we need to make sure we're constantly doing, serving one another and looking out for those people who just kind of always seem to be on the edges and don't always seem to be always wanting to be with us. I hope you get a copy of The Lunch Ladies by Philip Jenkins. Great book, not just for those who work with young people, but if you do work with young people, I think you need a copy of this book. I think you'll greatly, greatly enjoy The Lunch Ladies. Even though it's about four years old, still very practical, very helpful, and a book you'll find a great deal of of encouragement from. And Philip, frankly, is also hilarious. So you'll laugh a lot as you read through the book. Make sure you click subscribe. And if you want a copy of The Lunch Ladies, make sure you go down to the description. Use the Amazon link we have below. We always say that the three-minute book review has two purposes. One is to encourage you through good books, and the other is, well, you help send our kids to college. Using that Amazon link gives us just a small little kickback, and we appreciate that so much. It's the way you support what we do here. We hope you'll watch again soon for another three-minute book review. Thanks for watching.